yes, yes, yes which is crazy. You know, it's a fall video when I got my brown on. Not new fall collection. No, it wasn't a fall collection. It was Swatch or Shake. Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube. And today is all about my top picks for fall lips. I do this every season, every year, because they are some of my favorite videos to do. They're not my most popular, but they're my personal favorites to do because I love coming up with lip combinations. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I love posting about lip combinations over there, as well as create videos for the season. So today are my top six lip combinations for fall, ranging from nude all the way to this beautiful, bold red lip that I'm wearing. Normally, I don't wear a lot of color. This year, I've really challenged myself to wear more color in my makeup, and I'm finding that I really enjoy wearing bold lips, not just in videos, but out in the public, which is crazy. The first lip combination that you're about to see is my pick for fall for a nude matte lip. I love nude lips, but I feel like a matte lip combination can really just give you that fall polish that you need to pull off a nude in the fall. For lip liner, I chose the Tower 28 One Liner Multi Liner in Work of Art. It's a really nice neutral nude. And right over that, I chose Jen C's Lipstick in Margaret. This is a beautiful matte formula. If you're not familiar with Jen C, then you really need to try the brand. I really love their lipsticks. I think that it's a really cool brand and their packaging is super nice, but the lipsticks are just absolutely kind of my favorite from the brand. So if you try anything, try the lipsticks. Margaret is just such a beautiful, very neutral, almost cool undertoned mauve nude. That's why I think it's beautiful for fall. So if you're someone who really doesn't go into different colors for fall, I think switching up your nudes is a really nice way to kind of dip your toe into something a little bit different. The next lip combination is for all of my gals and guys out there that aren't really comfortable with a bold pop of red, but you want something more than a nude, then this lip combination I feel like will give you that perfect mix of bold yet subtle enough to where it won't freak you out, but it's definitely a beautiful combination for fall. That is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Pencil in the shade Parchment and YSL's new bold lipstick in the shade 1968. I have been wearing 1968 forever. Like as soon as it launched, they sent this to me and I was like, I can't put this lip down. It is so beautiful, but with parchment, it gives a little bit uh, more warmth there because 1968 leans a little more berry than absolute like warm red. So the warmth in parchment really ha has like a nice like counterbalance there. And I love this lip combo, not only for fall, but I've been wearing it kind of nonstop recently for that pop of color, like I said, out in public. It's not crazy bold, but it gives you something there. And I think that these two together are really a nice go-to every day for fall. The next lip combination is for all of you who love a good berry lip, and I feel like this is a great classic berry lip and Oh my gosh, this lip combination is another one that I haven't stopped wearing since I kind of like played and discovered this lip combination for Instagram. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk Medium, Pillow Talk 2 Medium. So it's a deeper shade of Pillow Talk. And then right over that, Merit's Signature Lip in the shade Fashion, which is just this beautiful classic berry lip that when I was a little girl and I thought of lipstick, this was like what lipstick looked like to me in my mind was this type of berry lip shade. And I think that this lip combination is perfect if you are more of a berry toned lover rather than a red toned lover. This is gorgeous for fall. Next is a lip combination. You know, it's a fall video when I got my brown on. This is such a beautiful warm brown lip combination for fall. It makes me want to throw on that heaviest sweater I own and light the most pumpkin scented candle I own and turn on fireplace that I own also now that I haven't used yet because this is a new house. So the lip liner is Charlotte Tilbury's Foxy Brown, which is a warm undertoned deep brown. And right over that Dior's Dior Attic Lipstick in 
812 tartan. I actually posted a fall makeup tutorial probably about a month ago using Dior's fall, not new fall collection. No, it wasn't a fall collection. It was actually kind of a collection I picked out and made up and made it for fall and a little gossip in there as well. But this lip combination is so beautiful if you love warm browns and that's just like your go-to for fall. Hi, hello, that's me. I love a warm brown lip and this just gives me that perfect warm brown lip with a little bit of shine in there if you're not a matte lip fan and you're looking for something that gives Gives you pigmentation but also a little bit of shine in there this lip combination is for you next if you're not into warm toned browns I have a really beautiful cooler toned brown lip combination for you that is also a little bit sheer and I feel like it gives me like a brown lingerie lip vibes I just made that up but you'll see what I'm saying so the lip liner is M cosmetics foxy which is more of a cool undertoned deep brown unlike Charlotte Tilbury's lip cheat in foxy brown this is way cooler undertone think 90s brown lip and then right over that Jones Rose the lip tint in Coco Rose. It's a little sheer, packs enough pigmentation in there, but it's sheer enough so you can see that bold boxy lip liner right underneath. That's where that kind of like peekaboo lingerie lip comes in in my mind. So if you like cooler toned 90s, brown lips for fall. I think you'll love this lip combination. I love the Jones Road uh, lip tints. They are very comfortable on the lips. They're a little less glossy looking than the Dior Attic lipsticks, but definitely give you a little bit of shine and comfortability. And they also look beautiful without lip liner. And just for swatches, swatches shake, let me swatch Foxy Brown and then M Cosmetics Foxy right next to each other. I know you saw them in the lip combination, but they are very different and I use them very differently. So here we have Charlotte Tilbury's Foxy Brown and then here is M Cosmetics Foxy. As you can see, they are very different undertoned lip liners. Absolutely beautiful for each of their purposes. You could swatch it up and get kind of like a nice you know, um, duo toned lip if you wanted to, but these are just my picks and combination. Last but not least is the red that I'm wearing today, okay? I think that this is a beautiful red lip combination for fall. If you like a deeper red for fall, definitely lean deeper. I'm more of a, ooh, I don't wanna get too like bold to where it leans a little like avant-garde looking lip. So I feel like this is the perfect balance. It is Bare Minerals Mineralist Lip Liner. That's so hard to say with retainers. In Treasured Red, this lip liner, these lip liners, I don't know if you guys have tried these yet. They are so smooth and so buttery. I am new to them, but this on its own is also very beautiful. Let me swatch it so you can see. It just has such a smooth formula. And I feel like this is a very true kind of cherry red. So it helps bring out that kind of cooler undertone in ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Off the Record. So this combination has the perfect balance of cherry and warmth because ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in Off the Record is more of a brown type of red. Here's the color pop. So you could wear the color pop off the record by itself and get more of a deep effect or even go in with something that is deep and brown and you can get a deeper effect with off the record. But if you haven't seen my recent videos where I started using the color pop ultra matte lips again, I was blown away. Like this formula, I don't know what they've done and tweaked over the years, but they've done a really beautiful job in reformulating them. I find them comfortable. I really do love a classic matte lip. I don't know how we all wore those terrible liquid lipstick formulations back in the day, but we did. But this is so much better. They have improved so much. I was so shocked like a couple months ago when I tried this formula again, but it is not the old formula that we all remember and have a lot of pain from using. These are comfortable, transfer proof, and wear all day. I even the first time I wore another shade that was more nude in a vlog, I didn't have to touch it up not once in like eight hours and I even ate lunch and it was a nude shade. So 
these wear beautifully. So these are my six picks for fall when it comes to lip combinations. I would love to know yours if you could leave them in the comments below. And please like this video if you enjoyed my lip combination videos. Like I said, I know they're not my most popular, but they're the most fun for me because I love lip combinations so much. I love the change of the seasons. Fall is my favorite season because I was born in September. So I can really get into like birthday spooky vibes. It's just who I am. And I feel like I thrive more in the fall. So this was super fun. Let us know what your favorites are in the comments below or your own lip combinations. Like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you in this beautiful, wonderful, positive, unfiltered and supportive community we have built on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this lip combination swatch video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Happy freaking fall. Swatch a shake. All right.